The ceremony marking the 224th anniversary of the Battle of St. George's Key Day was staged on Saturday morning in Belize City. Despite the wet weather and overcast skies, the event went without any major hitches. It was a day of firsts. It was the first ceremony to be held since the COVID-19 related restrictions were lifted. It was the first time in five years that the incoming Queen of the Bay was from Stan Creek. It was also the first 10th morning ceremony with her new Chief Justice, Madame Louise Esther Blenman. On this occasion, Minister of Culture Francis Fonseca shared his optimism that despite the challenges the country faces, Belize is bouncing back. Indeed, Belize is on the rebound after the unprecedented socio-economic challenges of the past few years. Our country's economy and finances are steady, stable, and under sound stewardship. New meaningful targeted investments are being made in health, housing, and education. Our rural communities are being served and serviced like never before. The twin pillars of agriculture and tourism are rebounding faster and better than expected. And throughout history, Belize has had to fight for a lot of things. Its rightful place in the international diplomatic framework, global trade, its political independence, and now its sustained effort to shift from its colonial past. Mayor Bernard Wagner believes it's all worth it. When our challenges seem insurmountable, we plant our heels in the ground and we dig as deep as the depths that our national soul allows. When support seems elusive and allies aren't there, we look within and unleash the bravery of our ancestors. When our very way of life is threatened, beat by colonizers, pandemics, or global hardships, we unite, we transform into lion-hearted heroes, and we fight like Olympians. Because the Belizean story, the Belizean way of life, the Belizean people, and Belize itself are worth digging deep for. More than just digging deep, the mayor is hopeful that the country can shift its energies to more things that really matter. Instead of using our energy to fight through hardships, why not fight for development, for shared prosperity, for a Belize that thrives? Why not fight for each other instead of fighting against each other? Instead of navigating to a safe harbor when storms approach, why not navigate proactively to the global networks, the social systems, and technological infrastructure that could elevate the Belizean way of life? That way of life, says Minister Francis Fonseca, should trigger a social introspection, one that will result in increased opportunities for development and nation building. On days like today, we must be willing to ask ourselves, who are we as a people? What is our purpose as a nation? When will we truly rid ourselves of the shackles of oppression and colonialism? Where are we headed? And how can we all come together despite any social, economic, political, and cultural divisions to create a Belize where hope and opportunity abound. And then the lovely and gracious Maslin Hansen received the crown, the robe, and the scepter as the Queen of the Bay from her predecessor, Drewel Jones, from the Belize district. With this crown, I crown thee Queen of the Bay. Music keeps playing. Queen of the Bay. Beautiful smile and With this scepter, I bid thee rule over the hearts of the Bay. With this robe, I bid thee warm the hearts of the Bay. And after a musical montage by Cecil Jenkins Jr., known as Coconut Boy, 
the ceremony ended and it ushered in the first citizens' parade in three years, much to the thrill of Belizeans. And throughout the streets, the music and the dancing signaled that Belize is bouncing back one day at a time. Dale McDougall, Love News.